Hi, this is 93.5 KWDC, and we are with... Scotty Moore with Festival Magazine. Yeah, so we just started chatting, and uh, we got into his magazine here, Fest World. Really awesome. So tell us about where you came from. What's your start? So uh, I actually started Festpop.com about six years ago. It was okay. like a travel site for Fest fans, and it was, you know just make it more efficient to find your festival and book your travel and I sold that off and then I felt there was a niche with the magazine world for fest fans yeah and just covering the vibe community and culture of every festival it's like my philosophy it doesn't matter if you're 18 or 80 there's a festival for you yeah <laughs> and I'm trying to find your music festival DNA and it's just you know we're, we're not really a bands in town type of crowd right like yeah. half the adventure of a festival is getting there Definitely. So, you know, so like what, what like city you love, like what's your music genre, and then of course every festival has a food and alcohol theme, yes. right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. So, and again, it, even different activities, like uh, we, in other, like our first issue, we, inter, we uh, featured Wonderlust. Oh, okay. So it's yoga all day, EDM all night. <laughs> yeah. Right? And of course we're in Northern California, so I, we have to mention Snow Globe. Oh, yes. So, amazing hip-hop EDM, but if you love snowboarding, skiing, yes. that's your festival. Definitely. Yeah. I've actually, I've, I just recently in the past year heard about Snow Globe, and it looks very fun. I, I would love to go there one day. But there's so many festivals, like, you know, like yeah. even our parents, right? They think, you know, like people in their 50s, 60s, that they're too old, but there's uh, Bottle Rock here in oh, California, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Super bougie, super expensive, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, the average ticket's like five, six hundred dollars. Yeah. But Thomas Keller Chef's best wine in the world, <laughs> and then, like, The Cure, like, uh, Earth, and Fire, all these, like, wow. 70s, 80s, 90s music. Yeah. You know, but then there's a room for their kids like they'll have silent disco yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> which honestly is one of like the greatest ideas i think like that's that's really cool you just put some headphones on and you're like in your own little world you know yeah just grooving out how many festivals have you like actually been to so um since i started in my world it's like i think it's been like it's up to like in a 50 mark wow <laughs> and, and though and that's why i can truly say to your audience it's yeah. like there's a festival for every one, you know seriously um, obviously the college market um, you know a lot of times it's easier like you guys are NorCal so maybe all those hip-hop fans like Rolling Loud that was just in Oakland oh, a few, yeah, exactly. that was just a few weekends ago that was. Um, and that's a new thing right and I love uh, I actually interviewed Matt and Tariq for Rolling Loud oh, okay. these guys were like just like Miami uh, like club promoter guys yeah right? and then they found a niche yeah. And, and that's like a festival, like we're here at Aftershock, right? They found their niche in the rock and roll world. Mm -hmm. And every festival has their niche, but also their community. Yeah, true. Yeah, like, so if you and I are going to go to Barcelona, we have an article here on Sonar. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like, it's like the Coachella of Spain. That's you know? really cool. So I also want to be kind of like the Anthony Bourdain festival. So if, if you and I were going to go to anywhere in the world, yeah. there's a festival. There's a festival every city, every country, every state, 365. Yeah. <laughs> like, Seriously. Uh, That's really awesome, though. Would you say, like, is that like 50 annually or just like in total, like since you started this? Oh, no, no. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's no. Uh, like maybe beyond a, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot definitely. more. Do you, I really like, I absolutely love what you're doing. I think it's really great that you started this. And this is an amazing magazine, too. So many great, like, photos and, like, articles and things like but, that. But, you know, it's our culture because it's, yeah. like, there's a lot of things on um, one of our big causes is to help fight the opiate crisis. Okay. So I, that's why I work with Kevin Lyman with the Warp Tour. Yeah. Uh, that's what hit our mutual causes. Um, even Nikki Six from Molly Crew. Okay. Um, wow, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that's our thing. Thing. Um, but also just like we have another issue how music festivals help your health 
Yeah. You know, where if you're at a concert and you know the deal, like you go up to someone like, what are you talking to me for? <laughs> but if you're at a festival, yeah, you'll make t- you can literally go by yourself and you'll make ten friends. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You know? Being here, I mean, this is this is our first aftershock, and it's my first like music festival like ever. So like having uh, being able to like go around talk to people, it's been like truly like amazing. Like, so my my so thing nice. is like yeah. a, if if you love traveling, obviously if you love the music, yes. if you love meeting great people, <laughs> try a music festival. Yes. You know it's like and uh, I think Bono Bono from U2 said go to a festival and see humanity at its best. Yeah. We don't care about race, creed, religion. We're all there for the music, supporting yeah. each other. Everyone takes care of each other. Yeah. It's true. Right. It's really true. This, everybody's super nice. Like, you even bump into somebody and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know? Yes. Like, super polite. Everyone's so respectful. Yeah, super uh, respectful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down and talk with you. us. We really appreciate it. And follow us on Festival Magazine, yes. Instagram, and I'll, I'll see you at the next music festival. Definitely. All right. Thank you.